Okay, sorry. <laughs> hey, you guys ready? Yes. So I am going to walk you through the ABC journal. Because Olivia, you have been doing it for a little bit, but you don't have your tabs on. And Leah, you just got yours yesterday. Right. Right. So basically the way it's set up at the very beginning um, are the instructions. Shows you um, an example there with the G. And then each page is going to have a letter. And what's really cool about these letters is there are um, women and girls too from the Bible quilting community that help design all of those. Because I knew that my artistic ability was going to be limited. So last summer, um, people kind of adopted their letters. Um, um, Annette, who was just on that previous Zoom call, she did A. And um, so it's just a really fun way. It's kind of like, um, modern day quilting where we all kind of contributed our little square and it all came together in this journal. So each page is going to have the letter of the alphabet and on that page you're just going to find verses with words that would go on that page. So A is for okay like I did the theme awesome, word for the page. abide um, so you're then you're going to go and look for verses that would have that strong word in it. So it, and you can do a page that has a whole bunch of different words that have those A words, or you can decide A is for abide and do that whole page on abide and fill in verses all around that. Oh. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Olivia, which way do you usually do it? Um, I usually start from like the bottom sometimes. Well, I kind of just like think before I do it and I'm like where would I want this and I'm like so first I'll sometimes I start from the top sometimes I start from the bottom it's kind of weird do you choose yeah. a word first yes yeah so you're choosing your word and then you're kind of visually spatially trying to figure out where you want to put it on the page mm -hmm. okay so um you've got 26 pages of those letters and um, if you see on the other side, what I have done is I've taken my loose templates and I've just copied it and, and put it on there so that this journal is kind of a sample where you can see that. But if you, if you girls keep flipping all the way to the end, then you're going to find a page on tabs. I have already torn out my page on tabs, but you're going to um, get to your tab page back there. And those are printed on a heavier cardstock. And so how I would recommend you tearing them out is you put one hand down on your spiral because that's going to kind of hold it in place and just do one page at a time. And you're just going to um, gently pull it towards you until those are pulled out. You want to go ahead and do that? And you can show us. I know, I'm kind of nervous. Oh, got it. You might need to get a start. <laughs> get close. Yeah. yeah, just one at a time, and they should tear out pretty easily. And then you have the option. Um, you can have a whole coloring session and go through, and you can color all of those tabs and then cut them out, or you can cut them out um, individually and do that. So you're going to end up... Um, with all of these loose tabs, and they're going to be flat for uh, until you decide to fold them. And you're just going to cut, um, hold yours up so other people can see that if they watch this. So yeah, you're just going to cut on, on those lines, and you're going to end up with all of these rectangular shapes. Okay. That, <laughs> and once they're colored, so you can um, do all sorts of fun little patterns. Can you see that? I like that. That's cute. <laughs> and then you're going to fold it over. So you're going to end up with this whole little set of tabs that are all cute. It's like a little, a little tab family. And they're, um, you fold them over. And once you have them all cut out and folded and colored, then you're going to be ready to put them on your page. So do you want to go, while we're talking about it, go ahead and cut out your A. And then I'll show you how you're going to attach them to your journal. 
I think we cut out that. You didn't have an A, did you? And what I have figured out when you um, when you get that you're a whole you're a whole set um, colored and cut out, they're gonna fit in your journal about four across, and you're you're gonna stagger them so you can see them. Um, you could squeeze more on there, but then you're gonna they're gonna start bunching up, and then your journal won't close too evenly. So you see that the oh i see okay. if you overlap them too much it would it would get kind of thick but so basically you're going to have four and they don't necessarily all um end up where you can do and do them in that same position over and over because some of the designs are scattered you know, on different sides. So like, here's the E, it's down low. So you want that tab to be up high. Oh, okay, okay. When I was developing it, I wasn't thinking where they were going to land. So they work really well um, until you get, well, L worked out pretty good. Okay, and so. So M, M is where I ended up going to middle position. Um, and that was just because I wanted to avoid some of the, the lines. So it's okay to kind of play around with where those are gonna go. So the P, you want that, you don't want your tab down here where it's gonna block that. So right. I, I've got it up there in the top position. Oh, I like this. So you'll have to play around with that a little bit just to make sure this one I did. I don't know why I did it that way. And I think it was because I think I did it that way to show somebody. So then you would just pull that up so you're not blocking your letter and you just kind of play around. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, that makes sense. Now the T is a little different because it's one of the few pages that has that border around it. And um, I, didn't, I didn't get it lined up exactly because if you tried to line it up, then that, that tab is gonna come way out beyond all of your others i see okay that's not going to bother me i'm probably going to cover that up with washi tape anyway okay so we have the a now you have the a okay you want to um go ahead and attach it while i'm here to walk you through it and then you can just color that one so you've got to cut out you see that Yes. You're just going to fold it in half and then, and then pinch it together. Okay. So it's going to have this little bitty tint. Um, this is basically going to sandwich around the page. So you go to your A page. See, and it's going to sandwich over it like that. Does that make sense? Yes. So to attach it on there, open it back up and you, you're gonna get your glue stick and I'm gonna fake glue it here since I already have mine on there. But you're just very liberally gonna spread glue all over the, the inside of that tab and then bring it up here to where you want it and you're gonna sandwich it over that page. Okay, so like the very first border like up top, is that going to meet the top of the page? You, is that what you're to basically, uh, you're going to focus on the letter. You want that A to fully peek out. And once you have the A in place, that's going to help you guide, because um, then you're just going to, you'll line up the B alongside the A. Okay. So really, so really, once you get that A set, that's going to basically um, determine the height of all the rest of them. So I, I have just a little bit of a space below the A. Okay, cool. So like that. Yes, perfect. Okay, cool. And Olivia knows all about the fun of washi tape. So this is an example <laughs> yeah. of then just using a piece of washi tape over it. That looks good. Yes, yes, you got it. 
no, you can decide just to leave. Um, you can go through and you can put washi tape on them now because that's going to help reinforce it. And I, I did that one because it matched my little polka dots over here. But if you don't want to predetermine what your colors are going to be, then you can just go through at one sitting. You can color them all, cut them out, put them on there, and then just go ahead and leave them blank until you come to color that page. Because based on what you decide to color it, you might choose a different kind of washi. Or you could go through and you could put all your washi on there, and then that, that might be just part of your color to do that. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Do you have any questions about that? Not really. No, that was pretty thorough. That was <laughs> yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. So um, you could just have a coloring session, get them all done, and then um, attach them all. And then you're just going to be ready, ready to go. Awesome. Yeah. And if you want to follow along, I am doing a letter of the week. Mm hmm a uh, funny thing about the alphabet, so there's 26 letters, there happens to be 52 weeks in the year. So you can go through the alphabet twice. So we started with um, the letter of the week A back of the first week of January. And so now I'm, I'm to P and I'll get to Z and then you can start over. And that way, it, it's just kind of a little personal accountability. You think, okay, what am I going to add to my journal this week and get you that focus? It doesn't mean you have to do the whole page for that letter. You could just, you know, add a couple. And um, I think once you, you start working on the journal and you do your morning devotions or whenever you do them and you see a verse, you're going to like, oh, I really like that word because it's really strong, like power. And you want to go over and you just, you drop that verse on that page and you might do a, a verse on the P page and then you also might add one to the A so you can just kind of okay, work, yeah. work on it, you know, just a little bit here and there. But the letter of the week just kind of provides people with some structure to know, okay, what am I going to do this week? And um, it's kind of fun to know that other people are working on that same page. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Okay, any other questions about how to get your journal set up? No. No. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. Yay. Well, I hope that helps and I'm glad you joined us, Leah. Thank you. I'm so Welcome excited. Or yeah, Olivia's gonna she'll train you on how to you're gonna teach Sorry. her how to do the washing <laughs> tape on the edge of the page and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, girls. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. Me too. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye.